In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to put frames or borders around a picture. So in order to do that, we're going to open a new document. We've got one here, and we're going to bring in a background. And I actually have a photo open of a picture. If we can go down here to the photo bin, and we'll just drag in this picture into our artwork. Okay, the easiest way to put a border or a frame around your picture is just to use a layer style. So let's go up under layer, layer style, style settings, and let's put a stroke on this. We can just use this slider to create whatever size border we want. And let's put a drop shadow on this too. Click on drop shadow. We'll bring this up to maybe about 40 something. Uh, the distance about maybe, I don't know, 120-ish, maybe. And bring up the opacity a little bit so we can see it. Now you can see that it's coming straight from the top, so the shadow's all down here at the bottom. I like to have the shadow come from the upper left. So let's just slide this around for the angle until we get an angle that we like, and let's just leave it about right there. There's a shadow. Drop shadow will make it separate from the background a little bit. Give it a little more 3D effect. So let's click OK. And that's the first way to put a frame or a border around a picture. OK, the second way I'm going to show you is to use a shape. Let's bring in a shape. Let's try this shape right here. Let's bring that in to our art. Let's make it a little bit bigger. We can do that just by dragging these corner squares. Those are called handles. Click the check mark to say OK. Now let's bring in that picture again. Just drag it in here and you can see that the picture went right down to the bottom of our layer panel. So we want to bring that to the top. To move that layer around just click and hold with your mouse and drag it up until that top line turns black and there we go. Now we can move this up onto our shape and we need to scale that just a little bit because we need to cover up all of the shape. You can do that by hitting command T or control T. That just brings up the transform and you can drag those corners just like we did on the shape. Make sure that all of the shape is covered up and click the check mark. Now we want to clip that to the shape. That's going to put this picture just on the shape pixels and leave all this area that's transparent will remain transparent. So to do that, just hold down the Option or the Alt if you're on a PC and take your cursor right in between those two layers. You'll get this square with the arrow pointing down. Click right there and that clips that layer to the shape. Let's enlarge that a little bit so you can see what it's, what it's doing. There you go. See how it put that image right into that shape. Now in order to make a border, we'll just do the same thing as we did before. Make sure that the, the shape layer is selected. Go up to Layer, Layer Style, Style Settings, and we'll give it the stroke. Maybe somewhere about there, and let's give it a drop shadow. Let's up the opacity just a little bit. Take down the size just a little bit. The size affects, if you watch the shadow down here, the size affects how sharp that shadow is. So if, if the size is small, there it is zero, it's a very hard shadow. And as you move the slider up, it gets softer and softer. The distance is the distance between your artwork and the shadow. So you can see if I bring this way down, it's a real tight shadow, real close in. And if I bring this up this way farther, it gets farther away. Let's move that back. Maybe about, about right there. And the opacity, of course, just makes it darker or lighter. And we'll just make it kind of dark so you can see it. And we'll click OK. So that's the second way is to clip it. Let's zoom back out. 
is to clip it to a shape and then add the layer styles just like we did with that one. Now the third way I'm going to show you is to go right here under frames. This is the frames panel. You can just pick a frame that you like in here and use that. We'll just go with something like this. Just drag it out. Okay, you can see that it made its own group here. This is the group right here. And it tells you an instruction. Click here to add a photo or drag a photo here. Let's drag our photo up there and see what it does. Okay, there it is. It's in that frame. Now, you have some controls up here. You can rotate it. This rotates it 90 degrees. This will make it larger or smaller in the frame. This right here, you can just switch out a photo to a different photo. Let's click on the check mark. Now if we take a look at how this was built, you can see, let's turn off these layers, the frame layer, let's turn off the picture layer, it's actually got a shape on there, just like this was a shape, and it clipped that picture to that shape the same way we did up here. It basically did what we did up here, only it did it automatically. Now if you want to put a drop shadow on that, let's try it. Let's click on the frame, let's go up to layer, layer style, style settings. Click on the drop shadow, and we'll just give it a drop shadow here. Let's make it a little darker so we can see it. Oh, look. It's putting the shadow around the picture, not around our frame. And you can see over here the FX, it actually went on the mask, even though our frame layer was the one that selected. So let's click cancel on that. We don't want to do that. We want the shadow to go around the frame. So in order to do that, we need to drag that frame out of that group. We can do that by just clicking on the layer and dragging up and just like we did when we moved the layer before when that line gets dark. Now it's outside of that layer group. We can put a layer style on that layer. Let's go up to under layer, layer style, style settings and put the drop shadow on and we'll just give it a little bit here. Now you can see it's going around the frame and that's what we want. Now you can see a bonus we got a little drop shadow right in there too so it looks like the frame is separated from the picture which the frame should be on top of the picture so that looks good and then it looks like the whole frame and picture is on top of the background with this drop shadow down here. Now let's do something else. Let's click on this bevel and let's give it a little bit of a bevel. And since we're just on the frame, it's just doing it on the frame. And see how it makes that frame more of a 3D effect? Click OK. And there's a third way to put a frame or a border around a picture. Let's drag this back into the group now that we're done. Just like that. And now we can move that out of the way if we want. Move it around, it all moves together. Okay, now the fourth way I'm going to show you. Let's go back up under shapes. In shapes, we have all these different borders right here that you can use. Now let's try this one right here. Let's bring this over. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's click OK. Let's bring in our picture, photo bin, bring in the picture. Now we want this picture to be under our frame, which it is. But let's look, let's look what happened when I brought that frame in. The frame actually went into this group, so we don't want that. Let's get that out of that group. Okay, let's close down that group. Let's put these others in groups, okay? Just so we can keep those separated a little bit better. Let's put that in a group and we'll call that group clipped. And then that one doesn't need a group because it's just by itself anyway. Let's move this up so that it's right underneath our border. Okay, now we've got our border and we've got the picture. 
you can let's size that picture a little bit command T or control T we'll bring this down just a little bit so that it fits a little bit better okay something like that okay we'll hit the check mark now we have all this picture outside of our frame that we need to get rid of the best way to get rid of that is with a layer mask now to make a layer mask you need to make a selection so let's go up here and get our marquee tool let's zoom in a little bit so that we can see what we're doing alright now with our our selection tool selected we're going to draw an oval and you can see the little uh, dotted line that's called a marching ants and that's our selection and you can see that it doesn't really fit the oval you can move a selection as you're drawing it by holding down the space bar so just hold down the space bar and you can see you can move that selection all over the place and get it right in there where we need it just going back and forth holding down the space bar moving it drawing it a little bit more and there we go make sure that your selection overlaps the black frame now we need to put a layer mask on that to do that you come up here to this icon right here that's the add layer mask icon just click on that and it will add a layer mask to that which will mask out all that extra photo that we needed and just leave you that oval okay let's zoom back out now that was pretty easy to do now if you try and move this let's move this out of the way a little bit oh it's not going to work because they're not connected now you can connect it a couple of different ways you can select both of the layers and then just move it and they'll move together or you can click on this little chain link and that will link them together now even if you just have one selected because they're linked they'll move together or the third thing you can do is put them in a layer group. Let's put them in a layer group. Select both of those. Click on the layer group. Let's call this group oval. You can move that anywhere you want. Now that was pretty easy to make that layer mask because it was an oval. An oval is pretty easy to do. What if we bring this one in? Let's bring this one in and try that. I wanted to just show you one more quick thing. And this is exactly the same way that we did this one, only I'm going to show you a different way to make that selection. Click on OK. Let's bring in the picture. Now we want that picture to be underneath our shape. And there's our shape up there, and there's our picture down there. For some reason, it brings the picture in right towards the bottom of the layer stack. OK. Now we need to make that picture a little bit bigger so that it fits the frame just by dragging those handles. Okay, now we need to do the same thing with that, only that shape is going to be harder to draw. Let's go ahead and enlarge that just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Instead of using one of these selection tools, I'm going to use the magic wand tool. Now make sure that your frame is selected over here, and then just click on the inside. You get this warning box that says the shape layer must be simplified before proceeding. Simplify the shape? Sure, simplify the shape. Okay, now you can see the marching ant. It's right on the inside of that border. We want to enlarge that so that it goes inside of the black border just a little bit so that they overlap. So in order to do that with that selection uh, active, go to select, modify, expand, and we'll just expand that selection by seven pixels. Say OK. And now you can see that it overlaps the black. And that's perfect. Click on the uh, photo layer. Click on the add layer mask, and there it is. Now we didn't put a layer style on any of these, so let's put a layer style on those. With the frame selected, let's go up under layer, layer styles, and style settings. Let's go ahead and give it a drop shadow. 
and we'll just move this around a little bit till we get one that looks kind of nice okay let's go with that and let's give it a bevel same as we did this one over here make it look a little bit 3d that might be a little too much okay something like that okay now we have the drop shadow on the outside here to separate it from the background, but we also have a drop shadow up here that makes it look like that frame is actually a frame framing that photograph. And the frame looks 3D. Now we want to put that same layer style onto this picture right here. So what we can do is make sure that both of those shape layers are visible. So we've got shape 3, that's this one. And we've got the oval shape, that's this one. Just hold down the Option or the Alt if you're on a PC and click on that FX and just drag it down to shape 2. And there you go. Four different ways to put a border or a frame around a picture. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.